Additional COVID-19 vaccines supported by the United States government are expected to arrive in Laos in the future to immunize people in Laos against the COVID-19 virus. U.S. Ambassador to Laos Dr. Peter M. Heyman gave an interview to the media during an official ceremony to hand over 1,008,000 doses of Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine donated by the U.S. to Laos through the COVAX facility. Laos on Monday received more than 1 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine donated by the United States or U.S. government. The 1,008,000 doses were donated through the COVAX facility, a partnership co-led by the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, or CEPI, Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, and the World Health Organization, or WHO, with UNICEF as the key delivery partner. The U.S. government began helping uh, the Lao government prepare for a pandemic many years ago because we all knew that a pandemic would come. There had been pandemics before, there would be again. And so we helped in training and preparation so that the Lao doctors and epidemiologists were ready when this came. And that has, I think, played some small part in helping the very strong uh, success of the Lao government. Um, we are doing our best now to help support the Lao government in its vaccination campaign um, for this year and after. The U.S. Ambassador to Laos, Dr. Peter M. Heyman, talked to the media about additional COVID-19 vaccines supported by the United States government are expected to arrive in Laos in the future. January or February, the President announced $4 billion to COVAX, $2 billion this year, $2 billion next year, and asked other countries to contribute as well. Then in May, the President announced 80 million doses of different uh, brands. There's Pfizer, Moderna, um, Johnson & Johnson, I think maybe some AstraZeneca, I'm not sure, to send out. And those are being sent out right now. He said in addition to the financial support given to COVAX, President Joe Biden announced that the U.S. would donate vaccine. According to him, earlier this year, the U.S. announced it would contribute within this year two billion U.S. dollars to the COVAX facility, a global partnership that aims to ensure equitable access to COVID-19 vaccines, to purchase COVID-19 vaccines for countries in need, including Laos. Vaccines which have come through COVAX, the main COVAX, using funding from the United States and from many other countries, like the countries who are here today. There was Japan and there was India and there was uh, UK and there were others all contributing, but I think we're the largest contributor and so part of this funding is from us. So we're helping when the Pfizer and the AstraZeneca come in. He said AstraZeneca has come, Pfizer has come, and there is more to come further on through COVAX. The U.S. Ambassador to Laos said adding that the vaccines has been supported by the U.S. and other partners with the U.S. as a key supporter. And then finally, there's the direct doses. And this is the first time we've had a chance to do these. We're sending them around Asia to all of our partners. And I anticipate we will be sending them more to our partners later this year, following up with the, the White House announcement. We're just waiting to hear how it gets divided up. In May this year, Dr. Peter M. Heyman announced that the U.S. would donate 80 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines to numerous countries. The 1,008,000 doses of Johnson & Johnson vaccines that handed to Laos on Friday was part of these 80 million doses. In addition, President Biden announced in June that the U.S. would donate an additional 500 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine to 92 countries, including Laos. Dr. Heyman said the U.S. government has announced that it will provide another $2 billion U.S. billion to COVAX next year to purchase more vaccines for countries in need. The COVAX facility is a partnership co-led by the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance and World Health Organization, with UNICEF as the key delivery partner. Well, for 10 years we've been working closely with the Lao government on health in lots of areas, but one area was pandemic preparedness because we saw SARS in 2003 and after that avian flu and swine flu and mares, Middle Eastern syndrome, and we knew that more pandemics would come. And so we've been working with partners around the world, including Laos, to get ready. 
One program was to train field epidemiologists, the people who recognize infectious diseases, so they can send data back to Vientiane. There is, they are in every province now, these epidemiologists, uh, Pad, uh, Pad Labadvitia, Every, the ones we've, we've helped train are in every province now and are helping to um, organize the response to COVID. Dr. Heyman said the U.S. government began helping the Lao government prepare for a pandemic many years ago, given that a pandemic was inevitable as they had occurred in the past. The support included training and preparedness so that Lao doctors and epidemiologists were well prepared for such an event. Then since the beginning of uh, the pandemic, beginning in March last year, we've been providing training, we've been providing personal protective equipment, we've been pro providing uh, materials for testing because it uses up lots of materials, we've been providing equipment that helps to sterilize other things or to help uh, take care of patients that's being used around the country. And our total now, this is, we've given directly to the Lao government or we've given to WHO or UNICEF or the World Bank to do COVID work in Laos to help the world government, about $10 million. Addressing the ceremony, Vice President of Laos, Madame Pani Yatotu, on behalf of the Lao government, thanked the U.S. government and people for their generous contribution of COVID-19 vaccines via the COVAX facility. She said the government highly valued the continued efforts of the U.S. government and American people in assisting the Lao government and people. According to her, this assistance in the form of donated COVID-19 vaccine is a clear indication of the good cooperation between our two countries. The Lao PDR and the United States of America are under the comprehensive partnership. She stated, I am confident that the arrival of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine will accelerate efforts to vaccinate 50% of the population this year. The donations will enable the government to provide protection against the virus to more than 1 million people out of the country's total population of about 7 million as only a single dose is required to build immunity. U.S. Ambassador to Laos Dr. Heyman told those attending the ceremony he is proud to represent the United States government in providing these life-saving vaccines to the people of the Lao PDR. He said the donation will ensure that more than 1 million additional Lao people, about 14 percent of the total population, will be fully vaccinated against COVID-19. And this brings the Lao PDR closer to its goal of vaccinating 50% of the population by the end of 2021 and brings the world closer to ending this pandemic. Johnson & Johnson Janssen vaccine can be stored at regular refrigeration temperatures. Coupled with its single-dose requirements, the vaccine is ideally suited for immunizing populations in rural and hard-to-reach areas. The government will use the Johnson & Johnson Janssen vaccine to first immunize priority groups, including people above the age of 60, people with underlying health conditions and health workers across the country, in line with the national deployment and vaccination plan, and further plans for its use in other target groups, including people in remote and hard-to-reach areas. WHO officer in charge to Laos, Dr. Gao Jun, said, ensuring equitable access to vaccines and vaccinating the world's most vulnerable has been the key priority for WHO. The United States' support is very timely as it comes at a time when Laos needs it most and will help bring the vaccines to those most in need in hard-to-reach areas. UNICEF Acting Deputy Representative Ms. B. Desto said equitable access to COVID-19 vaccines represents the clearest pathway out of this pandemic for all of us, children included. The COVID As the virus mutates, producing new variants, the need to join hands to defeat it is even greater. Adding, donating doses now is a smart policy that speaks to our collective best interests. Others always follow these six precautions. In addition to the shipment of Johnson & Johnson Janssen vaccines, 
Laos previously received 132,000 doses of the AstraZeneca Oxford COVID-19 vaccine in March this year and a shipment of 100,620 doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine in early June, both of which were procured through the COVAX facility. As of July 13, a total of 1,030,461 people in Laos has received a first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine, accounting for 14% of the population. Given that the country has enough vaccine to fully vaccinate this 1 million people and add another 1 million people, or 14% of the population, who will be vaccinated with the U.S. donated doses, Laos may soon have about 30% of the population immunized. In addition, Japan has announced the donation through the COVAX facility of 616,000 doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine manufactured in Japan to the people of Laos to further boost the vaccination rollout.